Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. King Arts have just released their Arc Reactor set, whereby you can pick up any one of these Arc Reactors. Each you have the Mark 42 Arc Reactor here, then you have the Mark 3 Arc Reactor and the Mark 6 Arc Reactor. There's one which is the Mark 1 Arc Reactor, which comes in a acrylic or plastic display box which hasn't been released yet but this setup which I think looks absolutely great has light up features and it's actually a really basic simple display they're one to one scale they're die cast in terms of the base itself is die cast but the arc reactor which comes off from the base like this is actually plastic it doesn't feel as heavy there's a couple of things I want to point out which is number one it's actually really good value I think is only just under 500 Hong Kong dollars which is around 50 odd pounds around 60 70 US dollars that's the price in Hong Kong the price will vary depending on where you pick this up from obviously a couple of things I also want to point out is that it actually operates via a battery system I thought they would do it via USB which is a shame they didn't but you can use the soap reactor to link them up which I will do a little bit later so I just want to show you this one which is the Mark 6 there's a little switch here that has two modes off, obviously on, and the one with sound and the light blinks. Now the battery is the LR44 which goes in here, very straightforward, and you can, as I said, link it up through the soap reactor so you don't actually have to use batteries. You have to do a slight modification because normally the connection is at the top and the bottom, but on this one it's actually on the side, so you can add a little piece of metal or bit of solder, a little bit of aluminium foil or aluminium foil depending on where you are and you can light it up like that. So I'm going to show you how the sound sounds like and also the light up feature when you put it on the second mode in the center. That's the Mark VI. Now, this Mark III is a slightly different way how it comes out. Let me just show you here very quickly. It screws on and off at, at the bottom here, like so, using the battery. Then when you put it in, you screw it all the way and it switches on. There's no power switch on the side that I can see and it lights up like so. Quite nice detail. Not absolutely amazing, but pretty good for that price. And the base of all three of them are very, very similar. And the base itself can articulate so I can swivel. You can check, move it this way, like this. And also, you can angle it slightly differently. So you want to angle it more facing you, you can do. Or if you want it straight up, you can as well. So let me show you a quick close-up of how these three look. Now in terms of brightness, I think the brightest one is actually this Mark III one so far. The Mark 42 is nowhere near as bright. And I'll show that when I do a little bit of a close up. So here is the Mark III. This is the Mark VI. The Mark VI definitely lights up from the center more, the triangle feature. And then the Mark 42 is not as bright. As I mentioned, I've got that on the remote control on the soap reactor, so I can switch it off and on. I'll link up all three so you can see how they look if you display it on a remote control rather than using batteries. So I've got all the Arc reactor switched off. Here is the soap reactor remote, so I'm going to switch it on. And there it all powers up. The right hand side, Mark 6 is blinking, making a few sounds. You see the Mark 3 on and the Mark 42 there. And you switch it off with a flick of a switch like this again. I'm going to show you this is the essentially the soap reactor, which is the power pack that creates the connection and completes the connection and I use one of these from Soap Studio this is the LR44 which is the
battery attachment that you need to complete the circuit, plus a little bit of modding. So please be aware you do need to modify very slightly to help complete the connection to make this work. I quite like this display because it fits nicely on a desk and it's pretty compact. You can switch it all on with a flick of a switch. Like I said, it's a little bit of a shame that King Arts didn't make this operate via micro USB. It would have been more convenient, but instead they went with a battery operating system. So there's no wires, it's wireless, so to say. But I would prefer using a remote control to switch it on. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Thanks for watching, and catch you all at the next video.